Hey, this is Paul Fontaine from Keller Williams Real Estate in Philadelphia. Today we're gonna to talk about Philadelphia. It has so many large areas and sections, we're gonna review it all and give you all the information so hopefully you'll learn something new today. Stay tuned. Let's start in the center, center city, Philadelphia. This is what we call our downtown financial district with all the tall buildings. One of the main streets that divides center city is called Broad Street, also known as Avenue of the Arts. This is the home of many of our theaters, including the huge performance space called the Kimmel Center. In between South Broad and North Broad is our beautiful city hall. I always recommend checking out that. In addition, in center city, we have the stunning Philadelphia Museum of Art, with the famous Rocky Steps. We also have neighborhoods such as Rittenhouse Square, the Gaberhood, Society Hill. Also, we have history. We can't forget about history. Betsy Ross's house, Independence Hall, Constitution Center. If you love history, this is the place to be. Let's talk about South Philly, one of my favorite areas and also where I live. South Philadelphia is steeped in tradition. This is where Italian market, the longest running outdoor market in the country is. Also, you will find Pasheng Square, where we have lots of award-winning restaurants. Point Breeze, one of the most booming neighborhoods in the city. All of our stadiums are down there also in deep South Philly. The arenas for football and basketball, baseball, and hockey. Also, the Philadelphia International Airport is around 15 to 20 minutes away from South Philadelphia. And now let's head west to West Philadelphia. One of the largest portions of West Philadelphia is called University City. There is University of Pennsylvania and also the home of Drexel University. Some of the neighborhood sections here are Spruce Hill and Cedar Park. A lot of the homes tend to be a little bit larger than you'd find in Center City and lots of tree-lined streets. We're heading to Northwest Philadelphia home of such adorable neighborhoods as Chestnut Hill, Mount Airy, and also Germantown, Maniunk. A lot of these sections have really quaint Main Streets commercial district. Maniunk has an annual bike race, which is quite well known and super fun to attend. And you'd find in these neighborhoods, a little bit larger homes tend to get garages and maybe some grassy yards, something you wouldn't see in the core center city area. Now let's head north to North Philadelphia. This area has some of the most new construction going on in the city. Neighborhoods such as Brewery Town and Kensington have seen lots of gentrification. Also, this is the home of Temple University and also new residences such as Divine Lorraine, a gorgeous historic building just converted into apartments. One of the largest sections of Philadelphia is called Northeast Philadelphia. It's so large they break it up in Upper Northeast and Lower Northeast. Some of the neighborhoods you'll find here are Pennypack Park, Bustleton, Fox Chase, Fishtown. If you're looking for garages and driveways, you'll find more of them here. The feel of Northeast Philadelphia is suburban mixed with urban, but it's only 20-25 minutes away from Center City, so rather close if you work downtown. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also remember to click the subscribe button to learn about all the other videos and information that I upload on a weekly basis for you to know about real estate and also about Philadelphia. Thanks.